welcome to NSG 411 Management Principle in Nursing or Organization of Healthcare. Study Session 1 A Review of Principles of Management. Introduction Management is seen as a social discipline that deals with the behavior of people and human institutions. In this study session, we will define the term management. We will also distinguish between a manager and a leader. To conclude, we will state the functions of a manager and list the qualities of a leader. Learning outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to 1. Define management. 2. Differentiate between leadership and management. 3. State the roles of management. 4. List the qualities of leadership. 1.1 Definition of Management Management is one of the responsibilities of leadership. It's a five-step process that comprises of planning, organizing, directing, coordinating, and controlling. Management takes place within a structured organizational setting with prescribed roles. It is directed towards the achievement of aims and objectives through influencing the efforts of others. The essence of management is getting work done through others. The classic definition of management is Henry Fire's 1916 list of managerial tasks, planning, organizing, commanding, coordinating and controlling the work of a group of employees. Management is seen as a social discipline that deals with the behavior of people and human institutions, and a manager sets objectives, organizes, motivates and communicates, and develops people. The manager is the dynamic, life-giving element in every business. Without him, the resources of production remain resources and never become production. To sum it all up, management can be seen as a process of reaching the set objectives of an organization through usage of human, physical, and financial resources with the best possible means combination and making the appropriate decision while taking into consideration the external environment. The single most important purpose of management is to make effective and efficient use of institutional and organizational resources to achieve results outside the organization. 1.2 Differences between leadership and management Leadership and management are related phenomena, but they are not the same. It is important to realize that a. Not all individuals in management positions are necessarily leaders. And B. Leadership is not necessarily tied to a position of authority. While only those in management positions are expected to be managers, leadership can and need to be exercised by each of us wherever we may be. In other words, even though an individual does not hold a management position, she can still be a leader on a clinical unit, in an institution, in a community, or in the profession as a whole. Leaders and managers are very different kinds of people. They differ in their motivations, in their personal history, and in how they think and act. They differ in their orientation towards goals, work, human relations and themselves, and they define in their world views. For example, leaders are creative, innovative, and risk takers. Managers often are more concerned with maintaining the status quo and taking few risks. In addition, managers often have a short-range perspective and are concerned about the bottom line, whereas Leaders have a long-range, visionary perspective and are concerned about moving towards realization of that vision. In nursing practice, we must both do the right thing and do that thing right. 
For example, we apply standards of care to our practice that must be followed and equity questions that in most cases must be assessed in order to make decisions about staffing, admissions and support needed. Thus, we must do the thing right, but perhaps we also need to ensure that we are doing the right thing by evaluating if the standards fit our patient's population and if the equity and staffing ratios are relevant to our needs. If they are not, leaders need to step forward to create standards that do fit and that are relevant. All need to share their visions of how patient care can be improved and all need to learn from the leaders who have gone before them. Concepts of management and leadership. The manager administers, the leader innovates. The manager maintains, the leader develops. The manager focuses on systems and structure. The leader focuses on people. The manager relies on control. The leader inspires trust. The manager has a short range view. The leader has a long range perspective. The manager asks how and when. The leader asks what and why. The manager has his eye on the bottom line. The leader has his eye on the horizon. The manager imitates. The leader originates. The manager accepts the status quo. The leader challenges it. The manager is the classic good soldier. The leader is his own person. The manager does things right. The leader does the right thing. The principles required to achieve the goals of organizations are continued to evolve as our society and our knowledge of the principles of our universe expand. The current state of healthcare delivery in the United States clearly calls for innovation and the development of original solutions that challenge the status quo. Complexity theory recognizes that small changes notch organizations in the right direction. As this transformation of the healthcare delivery system takes place, it remains vitally important that most leaders manage resources to foster the adaptation that must occur to sustain the current systems that support patient care. Review of functions, roles, elements of management. Management operates through various functions, often classified as planning, organizing, staffing, leading or directing, and controlling or monitoring. That is, one, planning. Deciding what needs to happen in the future, today, next week, next month, next year, over the next five years, etc., and generating plans for action, organizing, implementation, making optimum use of the resources required to enable the successful carrying out of plans, staffing, job analyzing, recruitment, and hiring individuals for appropriate jobs, leading or directing, determining what needs to be done in a situation and getting people to do it, controlling or monitoring, checking progress against plans, motivation. Motivation is also a kind of basic function of management because without motivation, employees cannot work effectively. If motivation does not take place in an organization, then employees may not contribute to the other functions, which are usually set by top-level management. Qualities of an effective leader. If leadership is seen as the ability to influence, what qualities must the leader possess in order to be able to do that? Some of the qualities of effective leaders in nursing are integrity, courage, attitude, initiative, energy, optimism, perseverance, balance, ability to handle stress, 
emotional intelligence and self-awareness behaviors of an effective manager leadership requires action the effective leader chooses the action carefully important leadership behaviors include setting specific goals thinking critically solving problems respecting people communicating skillfully communicating a vision for the future and developing oneself and others study session summary in this study session we defined management as a social discipline that deals with the behavior of people and human institutions we distinguish distinctly between a manager and a leader conclusively we stated the functions of a manager and listed the qualities of a leader end of study session one